Hello everybody. Welcome back to the R&J Fix channel. I'm R. And I'm Jay. On today's video, we will be replacing the engine air filter in a 2008 to 2018 Toyota Corolla. This is one of our no tools jobs, guys. So the engine air filter is housed in this box right here. And as Jay mentioned, this is a no tools job. In order to get this apart, we're gonna take off two clips and one wiring harness, and that'll expose the filter for us. So first we're gonna take off the clip that is on the back inner edge of this box. And that's right down here. And if you see where I'm pointing, this clip, all you need to do is snap it off. We're then gonna come around to the other side, and there's another clip right here, which is easily exposed, and we're just gonna push it off. And then the last piece we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wire harness off the clip on the back. It's just a snap, and you're just gonna take that off. With the clips removed, we can now remove the cover of the box. To do that, we're gonna tilt the back up ever so slightly because these two points right here are actually hinges. This one and this one. So we're gonna rotate it up and then slide it back off the hinges and now you see the cover comes away. And here's our filter. We're gonna remove the filter. Now notice when we take the filter out that the filter has a square corner. And that's significant because when we put this in, we're gonna to have to line the square corner up here, the only place that it'll technically fit. So when we put the new filter back in, this square corner is gonna go here in this position. If this was a clock, we would say this would be about seven or eight o'clock on the, on the clock face. Now you may have noticed when we took the filter out, there was all kinds of debris in the bottom of the filter box. So we got a shop vac and we cleaned it all out. Now we're ready to put our new filter in. So once again, our new filter, which way does it go? Well, we talked about how this square corner has to go in this position. That means that this is the only orientation for the filter. You don't have to worry about upside down or right side up because this corner has the square and a square has to go down in the box. So we're gonna put the filter in, lay it in. There's a little bit of a rib here, which is fitting into the rib on the bottom of the filter right here. And you can see how when I get it in position, it actually sits down real nice. Now to close the cover, we're gonna do the opposite of what we did to take it apart. We're gonna lay it in and we're gonna to go to the hinges first. We're gonna put it into place like so, press it forward and then rotate the back down. And once the back is down and in place, the filter can be snapped shut. We'll do the reverse. We'll go to that obvious outside clip, we'll press it. We're gonna come over to this one that's in the back down here and we're gonna press it. And we're gonna take the wire harness that we snapped off and just snap it back into place. And that's it, the job is done. And like R was saying, that's it. Another short and sweet, no tools job. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. If you enjoyed that, maybe give us a like, maybe subscribe, and we'll see you soon.